Hello and welcome to another lesson with Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about some resource tips in Primavera PC. If you create the project like this and you assign some budget and cost to your project, then if you want to create a report, During the report creation, I select some fields like these. I'm going to only create the report for the level one. No filtration. And in the time scale, I select month. And these are my selected fields. These fields are only included the budgeted unit. So when you want to run the report, you can run by this option. This for option is easy, so let me to skip it, but about the limited text file. The first setting is related to field delimiter. The field delimiter, you can set up it based on your Excel setting. If your Excel formula separator is comma, you should use comma. If your Excel separator is another sign, you should use based on your Excel separator. But what is the Excel separator? Let me to open the parentheses and go for Excel separator by make an instance. I have one, two, and three over here, but I want to use the sum I select the number one, then according to the screen, you can find that this sum formula asks me for number one, then use separator, my separator in Excel is comma. Then I can select the next cell and I can select the next cell. Then it is the meaning of Excel separator. Let's come back to the Primavera P6. Then the field delimiter is your Excel separator. What about text qualifier? If you don't have any special things like comma, at sign, and other things in your result, you can use the noun. Then it will be the result. The result is distribution of the budgeted labor unit in a good and unique format. This is the first item. So, memorize this setting for run reports in Primavera P6 directly from P6 in Excel. But we have another option over here. What's this? Let's go through the sample 2. In the sample 2, if I open the wizard, I have some fields over here, like previous one. Group and sort in a level 2. No filtration and if I go to the time scale, the time scale is a monthly base. But in a time interval field, I add to cost field. And because of setting in Primavera P6, I have some comma and dot in cost report. Because I use the separator for my cost in the P6 and then I can proceed and run the report like previous time I use the limited text file in a field delimiter use comma and text qualifier again set as a noun if I run it by this sort of setting like previous time then I will have This report. So, 
So, as you see, this report is not well organized like previous one. Let's do check it first. This is the connection between your spreadsheet and your available data. And so we're going to distribute the information from this column to the next one according to your timeline. But see what happened to this. This is the cumulative actual cost. And this is the distribution of remaining items. For the first one, it's not worked properly, but for the next one, it's worked properly. But for the third one, it's not worked properly. Let me to divide it by orange and yellow color. But what happened to this? If I have the budget over here, then after this budget, I have comma. And this is the remaining of this budget. And this is related to my actual cost. My budgeted cost for this project in baseline project labor unit will be But P6 face it with comma, and because comma is a special character for Primavera P6, then the distribution of this row is completely going to be wrong. Let's see what happened to their remaining items. Actually, if you freeze the pans over here and follow the distribution of the cost over here, you will find that all the cost distribution for the base cumulative baseline project cost is wrong. And you need to combine each of these cells together. So you cannot work with this kind of information. What's the solution? First, let me to split the page and come back to the PCX and verify this total budget for baseline project labor cost. This is the budgeted labor cost for the project. And let me to insert the baseline. Okay, you can find it over here. And if I add it, you can find it it's exactly equal to this item. But what's the solution? Let me to save this file. On my desktop. And come back to the P6. Open the report, select the proper report, and run it. Instead of using noun, let me to change the noun to the double quotation. When you use the double quotation instead of noun, it means that you want to consider the special character. Let's see what happens. I want to use the freeze pans over here and as you see all the things well organized in the Excel I don't have any bad distribution of data over here 
let me to split the page and hide some unnecessary information let's to compare these two files these two files run for one project but the second one is well organized on the cost and budget but the first one is not well organized and need to do some correction if I hide these two cells then you will find out my budgeting is not well organized and I don't have any time in the above but my budget is available over here without any time access. So, if you like to run your report by P6 directly to Excel, be careful for these two settings. I hope this session is useful for you. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.